Governor Whitmer is asking the state legislature for five and a half billion dollars to battle COVID. The House and Senate have offered significantly less, wanting more oversight over the governor's spending. Local force Rod Maloney is live tonight with an example of why that is. Rod. Well, you know, back in December, the legislature approved millions of dollars for the governor. And so since then, they've asked the state budget office to give them an accounting to where the money went. It turns out that there's about $50 million just sitting unspent in the bank while the governor is asking for millions more. We've heard the governor say repeatedly. The legislature would pass that Michigan COVID recovery plan. The House Republican floor leader Ben Frederick says, hold on. We don't want to give a blank check here. He believes the governor's COVID responses come with a very high cost, $150 million in unemployment fraud, and now roughly $50 million the legislature approved for COVID spending last December, sitting unspent. Numbers coming from a budget office report to the legislature showing there remains $40 million for local governments and health departments, $4 million roughly meant for health care organizations still in the bank, along with $7 million with no listed purpose. I would say that there's an absolute need for uh, oversight. And I would say the governor has failed to meet the charge of a lot of this funding that was sent forward in good faith up to this point. Local 4 asked the budget office about this and in a statement said, quote, there is $40 million in the pipeline for release to local public health departments. Grant agreements have been released. Local health departments may need to take some actions to accept the funding, but money should be very close to being released, end quote. Not good enough, says Frederick. We will not hold up the vaccination of Michigan residents, but we will uh, seek to ensure that that system is sound that it's measurable, that it honors the partners that are uh, on the front lines actually delivering the service. And so now what? Well, let's see. The House is about a billion dollars more in terms of the budget that the Senate wants is supplemental. The governor wants another billion and a half more than what the House wants. So we're going to be spending a lot of time watching them try and reconcile just the legislative portion of this, and then they have to go to work with the governor. It is going to be a busy spring. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Indeed. Okay, Rod, thank you.